Hello, ladies, gentlemen, and whoever or whatever you identify as. Welcome back to the Shadow Dread. Welcome to another video. Welcome to another article. And as you can tell by the fact that I'm still wearing the same t-shirt, I mean, this is about the fifth one I've done. It's starting to get a bit mad in here. It's so much Doctor Who. Any case, all goes on. Let's get to it. Peter, oh, Radio Times, by the way. Peter Capaldi rules out Doctor Who 60th. I'd rather leave it as it is. The actor warned against having too many Doctors in one episode. Good call. The most they've ever did was five. The five Doctors. I've got that over there. Right then. Peter Capaldi has dismissed rumours he could return as the Doctor in an upcoming 60th anniversary. Telling his fans he's happy with the way he departed the role. And for a lot of people, uh, and, and especially if, this, if Russell and Shooty don't pull it out of the bag... It will be the last one. That'll be when the Doctor actually died. But in any case, he's happy the way he departed. While rumours and speculation have been rampant around the celebrations, written by returning showrunner Russell T. Davis, which are confirmed to feature David Tennant and Catherine Tate as the Tenth Doctor and Donna Noble. Well, no, because one of the other articles I read earlier, um, apparently he's not. He's not the Tenth Doctor. And he's not the Fourteenth Doctor, because he said Shooty Gatwell is the next Doctor in Doctor Who. And that's what they said. So, he's just coming back as the Doctor. We don't know where, we don't know how, we don't know what it is, we don't know what's going on, but that's how it is. I'm sure it'll be explained when we get there. Some have wondered whether other incarnations of the Doctor could also appear to mark the occasion. But the latest comments from Capaldi appears to rule out the 12th. I don't think Matt Smith will either because he's quite busy doing other things. And so is Peter Capaldi. In an interview with SFX magazine, that's not a bad magazine, expressed concern that cramming too many Doctors into a single episode would lead to, lead to few, if any, getting the screen time the fans would want. Spot on! Although we've had a series with the Doctors been hardly in any of them, any case, because we've been focusing on other pointless... Any case, but he's right. He is right. It's very hard to imagine how you get decent crack of the whip when there's there's 14 of you, know, of you, you know, it... I'd rather leave it as it is because I love my time on the Doctor Who and I love doing it. And sadly, he was thrown under the bus for the great experiment, the grand experiment that was Jodie Whittaker, which <laughs> nose dived. But hey, my opinion, okay, before you start shouting at me, <sighs> I don't want to be Doctor Who's assistant. Mm. It used to drive me insane on Doctor Who, not being able to talk about anything. It's like, who cares? But then you get into trouble. Peter Capaldi went on to discuss the responsibilities that come playing with the Doctor and the way it changes the public's perception of you. Very true. In a way, when you're the Doctor Who, you shouldn't become another person, he explains, because you sort of embody that when you're in public, so you have to be able to turn that on. And it's not necessarily natural to all of us, Jodie. It's true, I've talked to the others about it. You don't want to disappoint people, you really don't. And remember that Peter Capaldi was a huge... Doctor Who fan, unlike the one who got it, Whittaker, who apparently is now, and will continue to say that until she finishes in the paycheck scroll, and then she'll just forget it. Prior to the 60th anniversary celebrations, we have the BBC Centenary special coming up this month, in which the final episode will feature Jodie Whittaker's 13th Doctor, and it's going to be emotional. Yeah, mainly tears of joy and happiness for most of us. Although, before everybody starts shouting at me again, Honestly, if you've enjoyed the Jodie Whittaker's Doctor and you've thought it's great, brilliant. I'm really, really happy for you. And therefore, technically, really, really sad for you because this era's coming to an end. Maybe you can take all that toxicity with you and throw it in the bin. Not going to happen, though, is it? But for the rest of us, tears of joy. Just saying. Uh, and Kapildu will soon be on the Prime Video Thriller Devil's Hour. Can't wait to watch that which is scheduled to release on Friday the 28th of October, just in time for Halloween. Looking forward to that one. So there you go. So Peter Capaldi's ruled himself out. I mean, some people have gone, or oh, has he? Is he lying? Well, I genuinely think that he's quite busy at the moment, and what he said about overloading it with the Doctors, the episode, The Power of the Doctor, looks massively overloaded with stuff. We don't need that in the 60th. He's absolutely correct. Don't overload it. Let's not just make it too much. But then again, there's supposed to be three of them. David Tennant, Matt Smith, Peter Capaldi, possibly. I don't know. I mean, in any case, hey, what would I know? 
just a fat guy sitting in his shed surrounded by his toys. But let me know what you think. Comment section down below. There is no right, there is no wrong. There's just your opinion, of which this video is humbly my opinion. If you don't like it, be offended. If you enjoyed this video, like and share. If you want to see some more videos like this on my channel, then feel free to hit the subscribe button that's going to be located down there. There's a little gobby guy. When the mouse over gets a little bit bigger, subscribe, click there. Great. Unless you're watching on the voice, then it'll be on the bottom somewhere if you're in a window formation. Once you hit the subscribe button, don't forget to ding the bell selected to all, so you should get a notification when YouTube decides to let you know. Because I've got a gaming channel, um, GG Gaming, obviously, which is linked to this one, and uh, sometimes it's four weeks before I get a notification that I've done a video that I already know about. But hey, there you go. Awesome. And with that, and as always, and until the next one, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to love you and leave you. Thank you for this amount of time that you spent letting me read this and reacting to the articles. I hope you enjoy them. Uh, I enjoy doing them because I'm, I'm reading them, as always, fresh, without you realising it. And, um, you know, it's awesome. And I hope you enjoy them. I enjoy reading them. And just kind of sometimes my brain goes, <laughs> at what I've just read. But there you go. So thank you for spending that time with me. As always, you know, it's really appreciated, really deep down here it is, because without you lot out there watching these videos, this would just be me sitting in my shed, surrounding my toys, talking to a camera, looking like I've got schizophrenia. Well, I have, haven't I? Maybe. Hmm. Any case, till the next one.